Hey guys, I'm LB, and Back at Your Laboratory 3 just came out. When you woke up, you were a test new subject that was going through some tests. Now you ended up in a totally different flagship and are going to participate in an experiment you know nothing about. It's not that you have a choice in the matter, it's this, or being sent back to that waiting area in the basement. Make your way through the offices, flood room, and the interdimensional hangar to get to the experiment sphere. But what is Alice's intention, and who are the cat overseers? This map mostly focuses on story rather than tests, but I can assure you part 4 will focus on puzzles. You've got some typos there, Batcat, so might want to spell check your description. But... I am excited to play this. If only to learn a bit more about the story about Back at Your Laboratories. Yes, I understand. Subject number one will be sent towards the overflyed areas. Then subject will venture through the rejected test chamber ideas and go to the hangar number one. Their subject will use the sewer pipe to get to the sphere. I will take care of it, Cat Overseer number five. Due to a sudden emergency, Alice is not able to guide you through the offices towards the heavy blast test sphere. The giant leak has been detected in one of the basement areas. Somebody has opened a valve that should not be open at any times. Please head towards the experiment. Alice will return after the gel flooding in the basement are fixed. Is it the release Half-Life 3 valve? Is that the valve that was open that should never be open at any time? <laughs> Oh, what? We can portal on that? That's... interesting. Okay. Alright, so... Oh, that's why! Okay. Ta-da! Gotta jump across. Remember, always respect the cat overseers. Do not insult the cat overseers. Do not talk unless spoken to. Cat overseers have the highest clearance level. Signed, Batcatcher. Now I've been told that there's, a, there's an easter egg in reference to me somewhere around here. I think. I've been told to look for it. I don't remember exactly where I was told to look for it, I, I just remember being told to look for it. But I'll point it out if I see it. But I will be looking closely. Hello, you guys are waving at me. Panic room. Only use during floodings. <laughs> Bridge quality control. Ah, is this it? The only one with a computer. I think I remember somebody mentioning something about only the only one with a computer. I'm still gonna look around, just in case. Cause you never know. Might be other easter eggs not in reference to me. What is, uh... Oh. Interesting. Bunch of information about the testing spheres. If we are able to collect enough energy and pump it in all- Wait, and pump it all in the portal gun and our shield generators, we might be able to open up a portal into another portal. This gives us the ability to travel to any location where it is possible to open a portal. Not only that, but we can also harness the energy from portalception ex wait. Not only that, but we can also harness energy from the portalception experiment. If we can guide all the energy we have towards the center of a pattern that we designed, we might be able to contain the 
portalception in random number days. Experiment number 382 in Sphere Zeta has exploded. This has led to a hole in the ceiling, also referred to as the roof. By the way, lead is misspelled. The next experiment will involve the new Batcatcher energy shields, also called the Blaze Luminous. This shield should contain the amount of energy better than the exterior sphere could ever do. Could ever have, probably. I know, I know. English sucks. It's a horrible language. I hate it. But, in our culture, people make fun of misspelled stuff. Alright. Done that now. Did we ever look out there? I don't think we looked out... Right, like, right here. Oh, it looks cool out there. Hey. Nice eye candy. a map to fix an exploit that Sunny found, but Steam community's down right now, so I don't actually know if I have that updated version. There's a ladder back there. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's graffiti. How do I... I guess I don't get back there? Alright. Oh, this is... Okay, I completely missed this. Oh! <laughs> My bad. That's how we get in there. Ooh, uh, whoops. And there's the disc! I saw an info pop-up for a moment. What? Where? Hello? Alan. Hey, Alan. Alan! It's a velociraptor waking you up, Alan! Whenever I see Alan, that's all I can think of is that Jurassic Park mo uh, moment. I think that was Jurassic Park 3, right? Oh, I can hear Ratman! <laughs> okay, this is blocked up. There's a ladder to get to the other side, though. Hey! We can actually climb the ladder! <laughs> and this is the way out, I guess? I hear a radio. It's just playing weird sounds. Now that is rather unsettling. like that, where there's not necessarily any reason to actually go there, 
but they're, st they're still there, and they're cool to look at, they're cool to find and explore. That's what's really cool. Oh, whoops. <laughs> At least this projector has solid collision, but not with the CD, apparently. Test subject, capacitors, external ring. Alright. Advance to the next slide, please. Or is that the only slide? Alright, I guess that's the only slide. What was the point of doing that? I don't even know. What was that info pop-up around here? Oh, well... That's... useful to know. Uh... wait. Oh wait, now this door opens. I swear it didn't open. Oh, it's one directional! Oh man. Bat cat's into one direction. <laughs> Alright, let's get some gel in there, just because. Why not? What am I doing? I'm pushing up against the door I know doesn't open from that side. Oh, that doesn't even look portable, but it is. Alright. I can't really find anything else to do, so let's just go onward. This is spooky. Uh, what? Oh, the floor is portable. Okay. No, where we were- we came from there... Hey okay, now. I feel like I can get over there. Oh man, that a, that's a giant- Look at how big that portal placement helper is, wow! I wanna get in there. Uh... It's taunting me. That detail, the door handles fell off. <laughs> oh, that's great. If we are able to collect Oh, wait, is this this is the same text I already read? Alright. I think this is also the same text. Alright, alright. Oh, portal's fizzled. Ooh, what is that? Whoa! So, it speeds up the game! <laughs> awesome. I was already doing that to, to save time. Flood reservoirs, dangerous melting pot of toxic liquids. All coffee machines in an area of 50 meters will be confiscated. <laughs> what? So this is something that is really cool. This is, uh, a trick. 
that gets people to notice when the game speed changes. The Swapper did this too, but basically you just have gears or fans or anything turning or spinning in the background, and uh, it, the player will be able to notice that uh, the game speed has changed. It's a really cool way to show that off to the player, because otherwise the, the player doesn't really notice. If there's nothing moving in the environment, then the player doesn't really know. Well, look at this, this is a cool effect. Oh man, those are back. <laughs> I like how it makes everything all pink-purple, as well, like that the render fog changes color. Ooh, green liquid! Where was, uh... Oh, we can fire at that. Interesting. Look at this! This reminds me of Harry Potter in a Chamber of Secrets for PC. Oh, I can't go this way. Alright. Fair enough. Oh, there it is. Whoa! That lagged my game for some reason. What was up with that? Oh, well, I've done it now. <laughs> Holy! Oh, it respawns me here, okay. That freaked me out, I was like, what happened just then? So if I jump, where will it put me? Nice! Yeah, cause dying and respawning, the load times just take forever. Alright, let's see, that there... There. And then... Quick save. Oh, we've got... Whoa! Oh! 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 That's cool. Let me get a better angle. Look at that! <laughs> Oh, wow, look at that. That is cool. And you can change the angle. That is awesome. <laughs> Love how it just all goes flying. Oh my gosh, we split the streams! Look at that. Double streams. <laughs> Cool stuff. Alright, so now what we want to do is... Does this open? No, this does not open. Actually, this looks like that- that room I was trying to get into before. Definitely could be. Where do we want to go? Something? Is there something down here worth interest? Those buttons are tempting. Ah. <laughs> uh... Exactly, are we trying to accomplish here? Where are we trying to go? Like I could, I feel like I could fling myself somewhere, but I don't know where I would fling myself to. Did we go all the way to this? I don't think we did. Ah, here we go. I didn't see this. This is what I'm missing. Oh, 
Oh, now it doesn't push me, huh? Wee! <laughs> oh, and I actually died this. T oh wait, no, I'm not. I'm actually not dead. Uh. <laughs> Maybe this is the exploit that Sunny found. Oh, I- I'm drowning, right. <laughs> oh, uh, okay, that was interesting. <laughs> that effect is so awesome. That was interesting. That- that might be... the exploit that Sunny found, or it might not be. Oh, this time I... definitely... okay. Well, let's, uh... Let's maybe try and do what's intended, then. At least that cat knows- oh, well, he'll- he'll know about that after he's seen this episode, but yeah. Oh, that's weird, so... Once you have the effect, you have to wait for it to wear off before you can renew it. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, portal... there. Maybe you want a portal placement helper there? I don't know. Perhaps. Maybe I just have terrible aim. Oh, well. That also... doesn't help. Oh! Really? Oh, that's just a portal bug. Oh, here we go, this side is much better. That's cool, whatever that liquid is. Alright, let's jump in. What? What is... what is that? I do not... I do not... what? Oh, that's cool! <laughs> I like that. Oh, there's a... oh, this is safe water. Hey! <laughs> Definitely... not intended, but whatever. Of course, now we have to actually get up there. Which isn't too hard. This might also be the exploit that Sunny found. <laughs> alright, alright, we'll try doing it the intended way. What is this thing? Oh! This is a, uh... Wee! <laughs> That's what this thing is. Aha! Uh -huh. All right, all right. Alright, alright. Uh... Okay, okay. <laughs> alright, so... Oh wait... Is it just gonna stay there? I guess so. Alright, I guess I'm on a time limit then.
Oh, what happened to it? You're not supposed to do that, cube. Did it. Alright. Not sure if that's how I was supposed to do it, but it certainly seemed like it. <laughs> that's cool. I'm actually impressed that the graphics aren't totally bugging out there. <laughs> Called it. Oh, it, it stays pressed. All right. Wait, what? what's up here? Oh no! It's a dead bat cat and a pentagram and uh, something too dark for me to see. Clearly, a desk and chair, but if there's anything else there, I can't see it. Oh, this is a neat little easter egg. Why is the bat cat dead? No! Poor bat cat. Put it out of its misery. Put the portal on it. Oh good, no trapping situation here. Good job. Uh, let's see... I figured the water level is not low enough. Yeah. What does this do? Oh, it drains the rest of it. Awesome. Okay. Oh! It's timed. It's a timed exclusive. Not really any point to doing that, I just wanted to see if I could do it. Alright, where exactly are we trying to go here? So that light bridge? Rejected test 2. I want water in my test chamber. That is a nice idea, what else do you want in your test chamber, Nick? Just water! Just water? Yeah! Perhaps we could add conversion gel? Yes, but keep the water. Put this idea in the flood room. Whose idea was it to have you bring your son to work day anyway? Yes sir, I don't know. <laughs> is this- is this the easter egg referring to me, Batcat? Nobody calls me Nick, by the way. Everybody calls me Nicholas. Mostly because I ask them to. Wait, why doesn't the water wash away the conversion gel? Yeah, this conversion gel should totally be washed away. Maybe this, uh... Maybe this isn't actually water, this is just, uh... Some other liquid... That doesn't wash away conversion gel. Wait, I wanna see something. Oh my goodness, I think it might actually work that way. I can balance this frickin' cube to save my life. And I forgot to mute my phone. How do I... Come on. Cube! 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 Cube, cube. What the heck are you doing, cube? <laughs> I 
Ah oh, well. Well, I think if I could push the button, it would lower the cube and the key would pop back up when the button pops back up, but... What am I doing in here? I feel like I'm missing something obvious. Oh... <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, nope, nope, I don't want you just yet. Although, I might need it. Okay, maybe that's not what I'm supposed to do. That's usually not what you're supposed to do, at least. Not usually. What's even up there? A button is up there. Another button's up there. There's a cube up there. I could get up here, perhaps. Oh, nope, nope. Yeah, yeah, I can do this. That should be easy enough. It'll let me place the portal! Hello! Oh, it's... It's thinner than I expected. What is this for? Yeah, it's not big enough for a portal. Okay. I'll scratch that plan. There is clearly something that I am not understanding. Am I really supposed to infinite fling myself? That- that doesn't seem right. Oh well, that was not quite what I expected. That is a new place to fire gel from. Which is actually not useful. Resistance is not useful. For those of you who've played- wait, how did I get- What? When did I do that? When did that happen? I don't remember doing that. You guys ever doing that? Cause I don't. <laughs> uh, okay then. Well, I'll take it. Oh, that just opens the exit. And the light bridge lagged my game, as always. Yeah, 
I don't know when I got gel up there. So now I gotta figure out how to get up here. <laughs> up here. Why do the steps look like they've got total surface on top of them? I guess that is one way. <laughs> Definitely don't think that's what I was supposed to do. But whatever, I will take it. Alright. Ooh, edge of the safety cube. Fix that, bat cat! Fix it! <laughs> oh. Oh! Oh! Hey! Hang on, wait. Go back. Okay. Oh, the controls are not based on where the, the camera is. That is very disorienting. Uh... How do I... get the camera back right up? Move your ball around with your movement keys, jump to get out of the ball view. This idea was submitted by Vintage. Vince for short. However, due to the biological process of placing a subject's brain inside a ball during testing, many subjects started acting like they were a storage cube and started walking onto buttons. <laughs> okay, what is... what does this do? Right, okay, I see. Probably wanna do that first, right? Oh. Okay. Wait, I wanna see something. Oh wait, I didn't actually...
<laughs> Look, you can see me go through the portal still. That's funny. <laughs> uh, okay, this one does... Okay, that. Cool stuff. Cool stuff, bro. Oh, come on, that is just begging for me to walk all- No! What the heck? <laughs> Interesting. Oh, personnel. Test subject number one has reached the hangar and will jump into the water to take the sewer pipe to the experiment sphere. After subject leaves the hangar, head back to your post and start off the procedures. Are we supposed to know about that? Like, I mean, is our character supposed to know? Obviously we the player are meant to know, but we is our character... Oh, dude, that was a bit of a glitchy transition there. Maybe, maybe you might wanna... ...not do that until after the door finishes closing, or I don't know, make a, a fake texture that looks like the hallway. Eh, it doesn't matter too much. Not a big deal. What is going on here? What the? Is that a sideways dropper? This is a long walkway, and I'm tempted to speed it up, but I don't know if I'm gonna miss an important cutscene, or... something... Alright, let's head down. Wow, that's ominous looking. What happens if we fall off? We. Uh, are we supposed to be down here? <laughs> What's going on? I'm swimming. We. I mean, I guess we could have been intended to jump down here. After all, the lady said we would, right? But I didn't finish exploring. <laughs> I'm gonna finish exploring. Oh wait, it, it cuts off the ED and what just happened? Come on, game. Oh, that's an interesting fade-in. Okay. So, oh, so we can walk around on here and see what all this is. Come on. You can fit, Chell. You know you wanna. Actually... Oh. <laughs> I don't... Am I not supposed to be here? I don't know, I kinda feel like... Kinda feel like I am, but that didn't really seem right to me. What is this? Yeah, I guess so. Maybe the collision over there is just a bit wonky. 
And now we're on the other side of this. Okay, whatever. We'll just jump in the water since that's the only thing that seemed to make sense right now. Oh, look at this. It's like a transition between two different liquids here. Interesting. Progress saved, so clearly this is what we're supposed to do. Good. Oh, that's cool. Listen to that. Does- is that the game doing that, or did- did you specifically program it to change the audio? I don't remember if the game automatically changes the audio profile when you go into water. Oh. Why can't I get out? What's going on? Am I supposed to do what the lady said with the pipe or whatever? Because I can't- I can't see. Like, look at this, I can- Oh wait, is that just the reflection? No, look at this, there's- there's stuff- I can see through the liquid here, but when I actually go into the liquid, I can't see a thing. Oh, I'm supposed to go over here, I'm supposed to just keep going and ignore those guys, alright. I thought I was supposed to do something in there. What is this? Another... transition? Door is locked. Ah, right, right. <laughs> this is interesting music. What's this from? Oh dear. <laughs> this doesn't look very good. Bring up the- Bring the last capacitor up to the sphere, pull all the levers, activate subject elevator, all hail the cat overseers. Part storage. We don't need the replacement part for the pipe. Factory, we don't need to fix anything in the factory. This is very mysterious music. Uh, am I not supposed to go here? Did I miss something? What's going on? Hello? Oh, here we go. Won't talk to me, huh? Ugh. 
Ooh. This is a... rather... Ooh! <laughs> that startled me. What happened there? You guys know what I just did? Did it drain the water? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, now I can walk up here. I guess I didn't try hard enough before? Wait, what's, what's going on with this? I swear I tried walking up here and it wouldn't let me. Either way, this doesn't seem to be... where I'm supposed to be. That's back the way we came. Something else in here I'm missing? Is there a certain combination? Well, I can't turn these off now, so clearly I did need to turn them all on, but I don't know where to go next. Did one of these other doors unlock? Hey, you guys, what did I do? Tell me. What did I just hit? I heard... I hit something. What did I do? Hello? Anybody? Did I break the game? What did I do? Oh, there's a le... How long has this been here? Progress saved, finally. <laughs> Was that there the whole time when I just didn't see it? I refuse to believe that. Am I launching a nuke? Okay, well I did something and it saved my progress, so... That's good news, right? Oh, it's screen's fading out again. All personal, subject has entered the experiment sphere. Begin standard procedures. Repeat. All personal, subject has entered the experiment sphere. Oh my! Wait, is that the subject? Are we personnel? What's going on? I'm confused. <laughs> oh, this is the, the, the portal. Now, I've heard that it's possible that this can crash the game. Oh, it didn't crash the game. Good. Thank you so much for playing. See you in the next part. Please leave a comment. Well guys, as always, thank you for watching. If you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!
I guess Steam Community is back up, or I wouldn't have been able to rate that, or maybe it doesn't require Steam Community. Whatever. Goodbye.